Good evening folks, uh, this is my second tear down video of this evening and this one, Big Clive, I think might be slight envious of um, this is uh, two of his favourite things uh, or I should say two of his favourite things one of his favourite things from one of his favourite shops this is a colour changing LED disco bulb um, which came from Poundland um, funnily enough it was a pound and this one has a standard UK style uh, bayonet fitting. Claims to be 3 watts, um, but we'll have a look. It is uh, A plus energy rated, so run it all day. Um, okay, so let's just uh, fire in. Uh, this was the last one on the shelf. Uh, I think it would have been left there because when I took it out of the box, um, this dome was off and the screw is rattling around in the box so I can only assume somebody thought oh that's broken I ain't buying that um, there is a slight crack in the thing and one of the gears within it is uh, broken there's a tooth missing off it so if we rotate the uh, dome you'll probably be able to see that uh, the motor uh, which is acting as a, a generator a dynamo if you will like just now is uh, tacked across the red LED uh, so let's uh, fire up and we'll have a look at the uh, the effect it gives. And if I do knock this light off, oh, and you can see it just jammed there because of that missing uh, tooth uh, in the gears. Um, so it gives quite a nice effect uh, when it rotates. Um, it's not colour changing. All three LEDs, RGB LEDs, are all on at the same time. And as you can see, it's constantly jamming. Um, if I put it up to the height, roughly where it's going to be um, sort of hanging on a ceiling rose or whatever, you know, that's the kind of effect. And, you know, it's it's okay. And it's just jammed again. So let's just get in about it and uh, have a look. Now, you'll note from the box uh, and the item itself, there is absolutely no mention of um, safety standards or any sort of conformity to any... Uh, it's European legislation, etc. Um, blah blah blah. There is some safety information. Sure, the bulbs cool down before removal. You know, as you get in any any set of bulb. Um, talking of safety, you know, you know, there's you know potentially access to live mains in there, but I don't suppose any more so than if you were to stick your fingers in there. So, um, we'll have a quick look at it then. Um, I think probably what I'll do first is just take the, the dome off and then that'll give us access to the LEDs themselves. So I've got an aluminium shaft, or aluminium if you're American, um, and there's were three LEDs um, just held in, the PCB itself just held in with one screw it appears. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, we've got two screws which are holding in that motor assembly. And if I turn it again, you can see that it's uh, tacked across the red LED. And yeah, like let's say, it certainly sounds like there's a, a tooth missing. Uh, now, and there's a interesting. So, if I'm turning it clockwise, red LED. But if I turn it clockwise, give it fairly fast you can see the blue and green LEDs illuminating there certainly the the reds uh, reds a bit brighter okay looks right um we will take off the um take out that show driver now I'm going to use these fairly expensive side snaps which I probably shouldn't do because most of these are just uh push fit a little stud or contact which holds the uh, the uh, the wire in place and yeah you can see as soon as I've taken that out um I'll just put it aside you can see the actual uh, wire there and let's do the other one there we go so fairly straightforward and then obviously the driver comes out um right um, I'm not going to take this all to, to take it all apart, but um, I'll take the LED drive uh, LED board off and have a look at its construction. 
Right, yeah, we will. We'll just put these screws out. So there's our uh, motor out. Uh, I don't know what uh, voltage this will be, uh, or current for that matter, it will be driving this circuit, but um, yeah, maybe 3 or 6, something like that. So the uh, LED PCB has got a sort of aluminium substrate on it with uh, you know thin um, copper is it PCB on top. I um, can't see can't see how those are being. Yeah, they're just I think the three are. Uh, it's difficult to see the PCB because there's like a. The solder masks white and doesn't. I'm presuming they're in. Um, I'm presuming they're in uh, wired in series. Um, yeah, I think so. Anyway, uh, yeah. So this is obviously going to have some sort of heat sinking uh, properties. Um, it is, in fact. I don't know if that. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. I don't. There's a circular outline there. I don't know if that's part of the moulding process of this green plastic uh, part, or whether this is generating so much heat that it has actually sort of melted into the plastic, or you know, sort of slightly deformed it. Not sure. Um, but let's have a look at the um, the driver. Uh, I'll just quickly shot that car. No, not it. Get any great shock off, just a little tingle, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's just a, st a standard, um, you know, rectified um, LED driver, a small transformer on there. A um, couple of vias there. So, yeah, there's a small discharge resistor across this uh, 2.2 millifarad uh, 400 volt electrolytic cap. Um, and we've got a 22 millifarad there uh, on the output, uh, just for smoothing or whatever. And a few diodes and other bits and bobs, but nothing to write home about. Like I say, just a standard uh, LED driver. Uh, these leads uh, appear to be silicon coated. You know, they're fairly rubbery, and, and uh, as you can see, quite quite soft and flexible. But yeah, that was just a super quick tear down. Uh, nothing much to write home about in there. Um, See, keep your eye out if you see these uh, uh, in in Poundland. I suppose you know, even for a hobbyist, um, you know, try getting into Maplin buying a a small DC motor with you know geared DC motor and uh, so well, it says three watts. So I presume they're they're rating these at one watt each. But you know, you couldn't buy you know three one watt LEDs and a DC motor in Maplin's for a quid. That's for sure. But there we go guys, uh, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video uh, please give me a thumbs up, if you didn't then don't, uh, and if you enjoy my videos please subscribe, Similarly, if you don't then don't subscribe. <laughs> thanks again guys, we'll see you soon, bye bye.